Convent, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. So we'll do a, a energy check for 1111, which is tomorrow slash today or shit. After that, you just would have missed it. But uh, don't forget about the prayer event tomorrow, everybody. 1111, right? At 1111 a.m. and 1111 p.m. for 11 minutes and 11 seconds, according to your time zone, okay? So uh, you don't need to log on to any YouTube, Instagram, nothing. You just need to be in prayer for 11 minutes and 11 seconds at both times, according to your time zone. There will be other people praying with you during that time, okay? Whoever lives in your time zone. Got it, got it, okay. I do cuss on my readings and get no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with your sign nor situation, nor do I give a fuck. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit. Mark, get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way. I'll hit the alley. You'll be back in Turland. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love ya. All right. They say have your animals there too. I think we did that before or they just come anyway. My dog only show up for one. He don't usually show up for the second one. But uh, yeah, your babies, put your baby picture, not your baby picture, but a, a picture of your baby, I should say, if you can't just write their name. Uh, but they said to put that there when you are, well, not they, Lakeithia had said, Sister Lakeithia had said, but yes, they confirmed. That's a very good thing to do. Yes, protect your babies, y'all. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, give me some messages, the energy for tomorrow. I'm using the, uh, life purpose Oracle cards just cause they ha have wings. Uh, I don't know. I was just called to use these with some other tarot. Okay. Give me some messages for the convent, the energy, the 11, 11 energy tomorrow. Spiritual teacher. All right, Tarot Land in the house. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. So definitely some lessons. Uh, your guides are going to be around tomorrow for sure. Uh, spiritual teacher, ascended masters, I heard. Some of you guys may smell floral scents or smell certain things. Some of you guys may put flowers on your altar. Uh, but something about ascended masters here. of all different uh, beliefs. Cause I see uh, all type of shit here. I don't, they're naming stuff. I see Christianity, uh, I see Jewish, uh, Muslim, everything on here. So uh, there's all types of ascended masters or spirit guides around from all different walks of religion is what they said. Or maybe this all of us, you know, we all come from different backgrounds. So we just all come together in prayer basically. Give me another one. But yes, I'm picking up on spiritual teachers there. Yes, Reiki, uh, tarot, intuitive, empaths, whatever else is out there. Tea leaf, coffee grind, shit, uh, runes, whatever. Uh-oh, what was that? <clears throat> Writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. the writings of a spiritual teacher shit that kind of give me bible energy a little bit <clears throat> gives me bible energy and it also gives me like literature or you guys could be listening to some meditation music they said or some type of self-help or uh they keep saying meditative so i don't know maybe you guys are writing uh they said scribing scribing spiritual like what you hear some of you guys are going to be urged to write uh, tomorrow, not even just during the prayer, but just urge to write something out, get a message, write it out. It's not even you writing. You see how he's guiding that little girl's hand and shit. It's not even you writing. Look at that shit. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. You guys going to get broke off some knowledge tomorrow for sure. Uh, whatever religion you consider yourself to be or to have been, you're going to get some type of spiritual message or something, whatever you believe in, as far as 
religious practices. There's only one God. I'm going to stick by that. So I'm going to put it that way. Give me another one. Trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Yeah, you guys are uh, going to, I'm telling you, you're about to get some messages in regard. Look, uh, synchronicities, we see them all the time, the number synchronicities. But I feel like you guys are going to uh, get some clarity. But it's uh, if it's not writing, it's something that's going to be written. Like you see something like uh, media, billboard, license plate, uh, bumper sticker. They said the crawl, the crawl that goes like at the bottom. You know, like when you watch the news, they have the crawl at the bottom. Some of you guys get messages in that, they said. Uh, you guys are going to be getting all different types of messages, different type of ways tomorrow. I picked up on that before, though. Like the synchronicities and shit were going, and the messages were going to start coming different ways. Got to switch it up. Shit. Especially if you are uh, becoming more and more awakened. Surely the messages and all that, they'll be found everywhere in more places than where you would normally find them. You know? One more for uh, the energy tomorrow, 11-11. study damn this is a really good school you got the teacher got the writing he looked like a damn teacher i don't know what she doing i guess this is just you believing you can do the shit at this fine school study there go dumbledore right there it really does look like him too just with no beard and hair reading research and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career so a lot of clarity about uh finances and what your purpose or path path is convent uh there's two cards out here that mention career so a lot of you guys uh, are looking for signs and symbols and synchronicities or just some type of beacon of light to show you what's the next step in regards to your shmoney. Whatever you've learned, uh, convent, they said believe that. Even if you have to like, uh, so this writing could be a manifestation board, right? Whatever you learn, study, believe that shit, trust. Write it down. That's how, you know what I mean? Like bring your words to life. They're telling me you're a spiritual teacher as well. It's almost like you're going to teach yourself just how powerful you are. I feel like you guys, uh, there's a pushing to the limit energy tomorrow. Like push yourself tomorrow and not in a physical sense, but really in a spiritual sense, convent is what they're saying. But not like in a prayer sense, but more so like in a test your power. Like, can you curse the fig tree? You know what I mean? That type shit. And not saying you want to go around cursing shit, but do you have that energy? You know what I mean? Can you command the mountains to jump into the lakes? And I'm using that as an example metaphor, because that's what Christ said. The nun didn't say that, but it's that type of faith or belief. It's telling me a lot of y'all have this power to make shit happen, Captain. Real shit. Some of y'all have been told to just keep looking. <laughs> really some of you guys are going to be like led like you you may be looking for an answer like a specific answer tomorrow convent and it may just be the first breadcrumb or the second or the third or the fourth you know what I mean like you're still on the path so don't fret my pet but some of you guys are still like on the journey we all are but in regards to career finances like where you because I see that like mostly here uh some of you guys are entertainers writers teachers healers and it's like okay I feel like you're being, uh, something about you was being enhanced too, Convent. Maybe not just tomorrow, but something goes on with that tomorrow. Like you heal something or you become s shit. I mean, dare I say stronger, but that's kind of what I'm getting, G. <laughs> like whatever you, and it's not like it just happens overnight. It's like, let's say you've been working on something, studying or uh, sharpening your tools, whatever that means for you. But that's what they said, sharpening your tools. <clears throat> tomorrow if you decide to use them you will see just how far along you've come they said so trust yeah it's a lot of teachers professors is it cause a nigga cool like a professor I don't know how you feel can you tell me yeah she look like she don't yeah I won't know how you feel till you tell me you won't know how you uh, how strong you are how powerful you are until you do the shit convent <clears throat> we migos uh, at this school. That's what they said. Okay. Not in amigos. We amigos. Yes. Somebody here is a dream interpreter too. Or you'll be able to do this. 
Like your some of you guys, your dreams, literally your actual like uh, dreams that you have while you're sleeping are giving you guys signs about your career, like and where you're supposed to go. They said, pay attention to the surroundings in the dream. Uh, you may be looking for like the direct answer, but it's like, say like in the dream, you're always at a school. You know what I mean? Always at a school. Maybe you're supposed to be a teacher. I don't know. Something like that. It's like check the surroundings or something for those that have like those vivid dreams. Uh, it's the environment that gives the message they said. So, <clears throat> mm -hmm. put one on spiritual teacher. Why is this here for the comment? The energy tomorrow for 11, 11 star card boot. Of course. I told you ascended master spirit guides. Y'all know the star card is always my spirit guide. A uh, card, ancestors, all of that. They are around for sure tomorrow. I mean, I, I'm sure you know this already. They're, I'm telling you, they're going to be dropping off mad ass knowledge tomorrow, G. You may be hearing them very uh, clear, clear tomorrow. Clearer than you normally would, convent. So if you find yourself thinking about people reading old letters or uh, looking at picture albums, uh, they said video, uh, something like that of someone, there's a message in there of yours. It's something you could have already had or you're just rereading over it. Something like that shit. <clears throat> the spirit of reconciliation is around tomorrow. It's probably for divine counterparts or just divine beings, period. Reconciling, but it may be like your... Not necessarily with the person, but they said reconciling your differences. I see uh, people who like write music or some type, they said screenplay or anything like that, books or anything. You're going to feel very creative tomorrow or you should. It's not even you writing. <laughs> tomorrow, whoever is like a writer or you write, you create your own content or whatever it is you put out, like you are an artiste. Uh, tomorrow you would do well to take advantage of, of that energy. They said to create something amazing, G, if you believe you can do it. <clears throat> Cause you're going to be led by a feeling. It's not like, uh, in regards to music and movies and putting like some type of, uh, like media out, they said. So if you could be a photographer tomorrow, you take the best, it's like, so it's a feeling though. They said that you'll have will you, where you will just capture great shots, write great music, uh, have a great scene, great something, you know, something like that. Some of you guys are going to go back to doing something that you stopped doing, uh, in regards to spirituality. So if you used to, you know what I mean? Pray in the morning and you stopped, you're going to start doing it again. Something you stopped doing, you're going to start doing it again, convent. In regards to self-care, they said, and spirituality. They both go hand in hand. Yes. All right, let's keep going. Put one with the star. Thank you, great. Six of Pentacles came out. Yeah, I'm telling you, these your spirit guides. Well, one, I feel like you're one of these people. Did I not say something about some Muslims, G? I'm telling you. Uh, something about some Muslim energy tomorrow. Uh, there is a, uh, they said high ranking Muslim. Hold on y'all. In the temple of the seventies. <laughs> what? Something about us. Uh, they're either showing me a temple and it's a number like temple 70 something, or this temple was in the seventies. I don't know. It could be brother Malcolm. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what the, uh, temple number was he was in, or it probably wasn't that the sixties. That wasn't the seventies, something about a temple number 70, but this high ranking Muslim, I don't know. They going to be, be around. So I don't know who that's for. Okay. That's for someone. Uh, some of y'all who are collect connected to celebrities, uh, cause this is the star card. They're coming up with spiritual teacher though. So celebrities, uh, y'all on earth. I mean, what happens on earth stays on earth. Y'all I'm telling you, y'all gonna have some like creative, like burst or something. Uh, ride the fucking wave. They said ride the wave G for whoever that is for. You're going to work very well with people tomorrow. Spiritual healers, artists, uh, entertainers, things like that. People who are free flowing with their career. You guys are, uh, going to feel very, uh, like connected, but connected to the craft though, is what they're saying. Yeah. 
connected to the, I don't know what the fuck that other shit is. They showed me, and I know y'all heard it, but I ain't about to dig in it. Uh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what that mean. Somebody is, like, connecting with, like, uh, celebrities on another realm and shit tomorrow. You're going to hear them real clear. I don't really need them to come here. I've had my fair share. So if y'all would like to go to another home, you are more than welcome. Uh, the nun is not mad at all, okay? Uh, yeah, my energy ain't out here. Yep. Look like they moving on to a house near you. Uh, convent, some of you guys who are mediums or deal with mediumship, your shit's going to be heightened tomorrow. Some of you guys find a, a piece of jewelry tomorrow, just like out there. I don't know if you were, you may return it to somebody. Uh, and this person will give you something for returning it. A good deed tomorrow. Uh, you know, they say no good deed goes unpunished or no good. Yeah, no good deed goes unpunished. It's different tomorrow. So some good deed you do tomorrow, convent, it gets reciprocated back like immediately. G. Like, oh, I found you this. They're like, oh, thank you. Here's a, I don't know. That's what it says. Especially for you spiritual, highly uh, intuitive, uh, high vibing beings, for sure you. You believe in what goes around, comes around, whatever religion, race, uh, where people come from, whatever. I mean, shit, just be a kind motherfucker, you know? It's that type of shit. I feel like you guys are going to be in a very kind spirit tomorrow. It's a divine energy tomorrow. I expect nothing but, but this, really. Just naturally, not that it's forced. It's just, you gonna see it like maybe in other people around you. Like, damn, this shit hitting motherfuckers everywhere. Like, that's what we need. 11, 11 every day. And 420, moving on. Put something on the writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain. The mount. You got the star and the mount. Yeah, secrets being revealed. Cause the stars are what, like, I mean, the moon is like illuminating the sky. But I mean, with this, it's like whatever's hidden, the stars catch whatever the moon can illuminate. So it's almost like you are intuitive, Convent, yes. Some of you guys are going to see some things, like I said, media, writing, going through albums, right? All the shit I had said. <clears throat> but I feel like things that are still kind of covered in sawdust, they said, whatever that means. <laughs> they said covered in sawdust, the stars will reveal it. These feel like spirit guides. <laughs> really, they do. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised about them being out tomorrow, but I mean, it just feels like they're like, uh, like there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to hear them clearly tomorrow. If you are, you know what I'm saying? In tune and tapped in, of course. If you're not, I don't even know why the fuck you even on my channel. But anyway. Tomorrow convent, <clears throat> your intuition and your, uh, what you know, your emotions are going to be tested tomorrow. They said some of y'all, because y'all really expect a divine masculine or a divine feminine to return on 11-11. They said, that's cute. Do you believe in magic? And I hope you do. Right? That type of shit. You'll always find a clown wearing big red shoes, G. Uh, so some of y'all who are expecting that tomorrow, I feel like, I mean, shit, because you're expecting it. I was listening. Shout out to Deanna, Sister Deanna. She turned me on to Florence uh scovo shin right and i haven't gotten through a lot i just got through it like a little bit it's like six fucking like books or audio books or whatever but one thing she said about manifesting right she was like you know say there's a little boy who's wanting a drum for christmas she said that little boy don't lay in the bed at nighttime anguished and having anxiety and scared he's not going to get the drum he goes to bed excited knowing he's going to get the drum that's how intuition knowing works and the little boy you know it's the like no child can enter into the kingdom i mean no one can enter into the kingdom without the heart of a child type of energy convent i feel like you get to uh kind of bask in this shit tomorrow g real shit real shit made sense when she said it and we know this but the way she broke it down was like that's on some real shit she said like on Christmas, like you, you know what I mean? You, or whenever, like the little boy knows one day he's going to get the drum. He anticipates it just because kids believe in shit like that. It's giving me that energy tomorrow, convent. Some of you guys may get an anonymous message. Pay attention to it. Like they said, it's not even like you could get a piece of mail that's somebody's name or something different than yours, but there's a message in it for you is what they said. And then you go back and give it to his rightful owner. Don't be opening up people's mail. That's a fucking crime, ain't it? Shit, from what I had heard. I'm sure the hell it is. Shit. Moving on. 
But again, confident, your intuition and your emotions and shit are going to be tested tomorrow. Uh, surely if it's 11, 11 and, uh, the divine and everything are trying to connect and you know what I'm saying? At least make this day great. Right. The evil one lurks. G. So just remember what you've been taught. Cause there is darkness around period point blank. Uh, you know about this shit too. So trust in your intuition. Cause it's going to be some illusions and some bullshit, some foggy shit tomorrow too. And I'm not saying, or they told me to rewind about the divine counterparts. I'm not saying that you guys won't uh, reconcile. It could happen tomorrow. But those who are waiting for this to happen tomorrow, they said more than likely it won't happen tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, because those who uh, know that it's coming, it doesn't have to be tomorrow. Every day is 11-11 to them. They know God's going to send someone divine to, you know what I mean? So, you're welcome. Put one on the, on the, uh, mo. what is this? You also, uh, convent are going to something you've been wanting to be revealed about someone. You've already been told this at least one to nine times. They said about this, per damn one to nine, one to nine times about this person. Okay. They're like, it's them. I don't know if that's good or bad, but you've been told one to nine times about someone convent. So I don't know. Maybe that this is your spiritual partner. This is who you're supposed to be with, reconcile with, make something right. But one to nine times, they keep telling you like, this is them. Whatever that means, convent. You know what it means, they said. The other person knows what it means too. Okay, well shit. Uh, Y'all got Dakota rings and shit? Put one on the moon. The strength card. Got the strength and the moons. Convent, make sure you let shit flow tomorrow, G. Don't let your pride and ego restrict you. Uh, don't let fear restrict you. Uh, illusions, all of this shit, like, restrict you. I feel like it's some creepy shit going on tomorrow, too. But it makes sense if this divine energy is where, where the light is, evil is, like, lurking. That's just the way the shit is. That's kind of what this feels like. Uh, you guys may have to face your fears, too. Some of you guys are going to have an encounter with to, with someone tomorrow or some encounter that you think is going to go bad and it's not. But it's because you apply everything you learn. It could go the other way. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Your tools have been sharpened. So let's say you know somebody at your job got animosity and like, man, I don't want to go up in there and deal with this shit. Like, I already know how I'm going to play this shit. I'm going to go up in there, right? It's like you have a, uh, you see the future or you get some type of, I don't know. It's like you rule the world. Uh, I don't know if it's just tomorrow, but that's how they're making me feel like you like you rule the energy tomorrow. Because I mean, for, and I'm talking to divine beings, of course, because we're all on this frequency. The real ones, not the ones just claiming to be not you bitches. I always have to put the disclaimer, not you hoes, uh, the real ones and shit. You know who you are uh, because you're trying to affect the energy in a, like a positive way. Just everything around you, birds, like air, trees, like water, people, everything. Right. Uh, just know that. Uh. There's dark energy around trying to deactivate that shit, real shit. And it may, but long as you do your part tomorrow, they said, like, you'll see it with your own eyes, like the effect you have on energy, uh, tomorrow, especially it's almost like friends and family day G is what they said. Tomorrow is spiritual friends and family day. Like where they get to come on campus or come to 3d divine university. When we get to go to 5d in our sleep dreams, whatever they get to come down like 3d, even though they come anyway, but it's like. Uh, personal, if that makes any sense, convent. Tomorrow, someone's going to figure out why they're not happy. Uh, I heard, I don't know. And they're going to do something about it. <laughs> the moon and the strength card on top of the spiritual teacher. Yeah, your intuition. I'm talking about whoever's around you, convent. I don't know. I'm picking up on like all types of like, uh, I heard Gandhi, so I don't know who that who he's around or nothing. But I'm hearing these are the people like these energies that are around tomorrow. They said Buddha, Temple 77. I don't know what that, let me see, shit. Oh no, my phone charging. I don't feel like walking over there. I don't, I feel like they talking about Malcolm X. It's a Temple something seven something. I don't know. But they keep saying like the high ranking Muslim. Unless, I mean, shit, I don't know. Look, I ain't about to talk about that man and none of that. So y'all figure out which Muslim it is. I don't want to hear, I ain't in that shit now. 
Uh, yes. And the teacher himself, they said. <sighs> yeah, they keep saying friends and family day, y'all. <clears throat> Yeah, you're going to have to fight some, like, depressing energy, sad, emotional, or something tomorrow, Convent. I don't know if it's your energy, but I know it's around. It, it feels like it's an illusion, though. It's caused by, like, some fuck shit. So you'll have to resist this or fight this off. It could be temptation. It could be your ego, your pride, uh, anger, all that shit. It's going to be tested tomorrow. At least the people I'm talking to. Probably at your punk ass job. Some of you guys are gonna have a strong urge, yeah, to return to something, read, get into some type of new literature, something like that. Uh, you probably already have. You may do this, feel the urge to even like dive into that shit tomorrow. Like really expand your mind. A lot of reading tomorrow. Uh, re like they said, research. Yeah, tomorrow convent. Things you want to know you're going to dive deeper into tomorrow, but you're getting the urge from your spiritual family and friends. It's spiritual family and friends day, G. That's what they keep saying. I like it. One on the trust. Someone who's uh kind of been like slipping. They said slipping in the darkness. Yeah, slipping in the darkness. Somebody has an awakening tomorrow. Or not, not like it just poof, you know what I mean? But it's like tomorrow something is like heightened. That's what I keep feeling like. Something is heightened tomorrow. And obviously, guys, right? But just explaining what the tarot cards are saying. It's really height. Someone's intuition is heightened. So like somebody down there scared a motherfucking self tomorrow, G. Like they know everything that's probably going to happen throughout the whole day. And the shit happened. And, but it helps this person have more confidence in themselves. Like, okay. That's why I said you're going to control the energy. Something that you doubted yourself on, Convent, I feel like you'll be relieved uh, of that doubt tomorrow, whatever it is. Of course, if you trust that, you know, and believe that you will. Shit. One on the trust. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, here go the finances. I knew they were coming out. So some of y'all have no clue where the fuck some money coming, G. You like none, there's nothing to even hold on to, G. Like, I'm just going to go lay down. You know when you've been so broke, you can just lay down? I can only afford to lay my ass down. Real shit, I've been broke like that. That's what they said. Uh, that's going to change if you believe it does. It's almost like this could be fear or intuition, right? It depends on if this your ego pride or your strength. It depends. It's like you are, like, changing the energy around. So, shit. And ain't nobody here. Well, I was about to say, ain't nobody laying down, but I told you. I didn't even notice that shit. But, yes, I've been there where it's like, shit. I can't afford to be hungry, so I just need to go to sleep. I guess I'm going to bed. It's that type of energy. I feel like you're going to get some type of glimmer of hope or something. With What the fuck? Why that shit just fall over? Y'all see that shit? You're going to get some glimmer of hope uh, tomorrow. However big or small, because this is a puppy and a shrub here and a little boy. Some of you guys need to trust that you will have a child. There's a special egg in your body, feminine energy, for this one divine child here. I don't know if you have one egg left. Some of you guys are set to have a divine child. Somehow this uh, helps with your career, so I don't know. I hope it ain't a keep a nigga baby, but I mean, shit, for some of y'all, y'all meant to be that. Not like you planned on having it, but it's like, shit, he want to be my baby daddy. I want to be his baby mama. And we just work like, like, you know what I mean? Like that, that was the journey. That is it. Like y'all just generate wealth. Cause the, like the prophecy or the gener like the legacy came together. Like, so it will be that type of thing. It's something like that convent. Some of your kids are going to write something or say something tomorrow. That's going to blow your mind. Yeah. The dog going to do something tomorrow that's going to blow your mind. Some animal, a plant may grow or just do something out of the norm. Not like it's going to start dancing and shit. But like a plant may just, uh, let me push them all back, shit. They telling me something is pushing these over. Probably these motherfucking hoes, shit. Every other city we go. Yeah, they were playing that earlier. 
no matter where I go, I see the same hole. Yeah, is you sick from the dick or is it the flu? It ain't about you or your bitch ass crew, is what I was told to tell somebody. This probably the one I picked up on when I was saying somebody having to keep a nigga baby. You notice how everything just kind of go together moving on. So I don't know if you're praying for that, ma'am, or tomorrow that's what you're going to use your energy for or something, but I mean, you may get a shrub. Shit, it looks like you get pregnant just not by the motherfucker you thought. Boom, problem solved. Let's move on, convent. Why are they here, Ike? Why are they fucking here? Anyway, said bringing down the house. Okay. Queen Latifah. I don't know. She was in that, huh? They making me feel like they talk about an older person. G. Queen Latifah will be there, I heard. I don't know if it's like a Queen Latifah, like, like way, way back, right? Like, you know, because it could have, you know, shit, ain't no telling, you know? Or if this is just like Queen Latifah and shit, you know? So I don't know, something about, man, well, I don't know. They said she'll be there tomorrow. That's all I heard. So I don't know which queen it is. I'm going to move on, G. Back to your kids and all them doing some amazing shit tomorrow. Like I said, I don't feel like your plan's going to start dancing or nothing. But let's just say you've been waiting on something to sprout and it's like, October, it's cold, November. Something sprouts or with a plant or it's just a miraculous sunny day where you live. Something divine happens tomorrow, convent, in your area. You're going to know your spirit guide or someone is around you too when this happens. Real shit. You're going to uh, kind of be stuck like pondering this for a while, trying to decode it, they said and undress it. Yeah, I hope we still talking about a fucking, like, divine idea. <laughs> I don't know. Cause I mean, they done mixed it up with the hoes in the city on the videos and shit, so now I don't even know what's going on here, okay? Somebody loves what you do, Convent. Like, I don't know, I feel like you kinda already been on your shit, real shit. I feel like y'all been shining, whatever it is you been doing. Even though you ain't been working, motherfucker, you look like you have been. You know what I'm saying? You don't look like what you been through. Somebody's gonna notice you for that, Convent, offer you something, wanna invest, or they just, like you teach people or you inspire some shit like that. Tomorrow it's intensified, G. Uh, it may get expressed to you some type of way. I don't know how, but that's what they're saying. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is the end of holding on to some shit. Uh, it could be a grudge. It could be uh, indecision, juggling, uh, insecurities. Uh, they said conformities. Conformities. Okay. It's the end of that shit. If it's not over tomorrow, it probably starts tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like where you're aware and you start to like really work on it tomorrow. And from that point on, you will see something grow from that. So I think that's dope as hell. Put something here on the page of Pentacles with the trust. I'm sorry I messed up the whole, you saw the spiritual shit was good and then they just, I mean, shit. I feel like I messed up the whole shit, real shit. And I mean, I know it's cool because you know, I don't be giving a fuck, but it's just like, damn, you know, like I could smell them when they come in here, G. Like they set the whole, f that's what I'm talking about. Exactly. Exactly, G. That's exa They said that was a good example of how some shit's gonna happen tomorrow. Remember I was like, tomorrow you're gonna be in that divine energy where you just wanna see the world just la, 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 la. You know what I mean? Like just be on at least one day. But something will try to come and like put like a little stank cloud over it and shit. Like, you know? Uh, but your job is still gonna be done. Amen. Yeah, but that was a good example, uh, y'all. Thank you. Because it was about to piss me off. But yes, tools are being sharpened. You are correct. <laughs> they don't call me Harriet Thugman for no reason. Shit. <laughs> I don't know who called me that. Harriet Thugman and shit. The Harriet Thugman of Tarot. But real shit. I like that name. Uh, <laughs> that shit was funny. Well, shout out to you, whoever said that. One on the uh, trust and the page of pentacles. Nine of Cups, I told you, you gonna, it's some glimmer of hope, something you see, Convent. As long as you believe you're gonna see that shit, uh, you will. They told me it's not even, uh, it, it may not even be something that you want, but it could be something you did not want to happen. 
You know what I mean? Like, man, I hope they call and cancel. I really don't want to go to this shit. And then they call like, Mr. John Doe, Mr. Jane Doe, Mr. <laughs> whoever the fuck, right? Convent member, right? We're going to have to cancel your appointment and schedule like two months out. Like, fucking cool. I'll have the money then. Like, then I'll be ready to, you know what I'm saying? Like, now I ain't even ready for the shit. I'm picking up on extensions, G. Like, some of y'all are going to get word that you get the extension. I don't know if they talking about the weave, right? Uh, the lace front, whatever. Shit, you still going to get it? Then maybe, I don't know. Shit, that's what they said. You know, I double in all types of things. So as far as tarot is concerned, you got to clear shit up for dummies, right? But I mean, as far as uh, I'm with the shits, weaves, uh, Muslims, uh, puppy dogs, uh, herbalists, uh, all this shit. So that's what I'm talking about when I say I dabble in a little bit of everything, just because I feel like I have to be clearing shit up for people that just be wandering through looking for free food, you know? Anyway, yes, convent. Uh, tomorrow your kids may be like extremely happy you may see them just extremely happy it's your energy it's the divine energy from the divine that's in you that's why they said to have your, oh yeah the kids don't forget about them I said put your baby your baby's baby picture or whatever picture or if they want to be there of course or write their name birth something right when you pray uh it puts like some bubble or some seal around them real shit a pet like I told y'all something like that it puts some like protection around them uh and I feel like they've always been protected but what's another added layer you know what I'm saying what could it hurt convent look now shit motherfuckers just gonna get strong arm now for fucking with your baby that's all get choke a motherfucker out now for fucking with your baby that's all shit it's your baby um I agree shit get that motherfucker shit touching on my baby that type of shit uh something yeah y'all definitely still that I do see some divine connections when I slept the deck look at that two of cups four of wands after uh, some man uh, put some like whole tendencies to rest, maybe he do that tomorrow. I don't know. Roman, they said. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all just be shouting out random ass shit. I'll be sounding like I straight got Tourette's in this bitch. Yeah, King of Swords of the Ace of just be shouting out random ass shit. Luckily, it only happens here. Uh, when I'm doing readings, but damn, that shit ill. Uh, your spirit guides are going to, some of y'all are going to get some wish tomorrow. Uh, you're going to be like straight Ray J tomorrow, G. If I had one wish, I don't know what the fuck it is, G. I don't know, but you got the page of pentacles with the nine of cups. If I move it to the spiritual teacher in this, uh, star in the six of pentacles, you would be my boo. Uh oh, convent. You better get it. <laughs> Somebody's, yeah, gonna find out that they're pregnant for sure. Whoever's worried about being pregnant, you carry this baby the full nine months, G. You do, uh, which I feel like you're worried about possibly, but believe it, believe it. It starts off from this little egg embryo and all that other shit, and you carry the, look at his little badass in the dirt. Obviously he get here or she. Uh, somebody carries a baby full term. Or you need to ask for this, like this is something, they're making me feel like convent tomorrow, uh, like to, I don't even have to tell you this, but the, even in the prayer event, they're telling me because we've been doing this and like we getting closer and closer, like cultivating our relationship with God, that you even know what to ask for. You mind your business, ain't no motherfucking money out here, except for this little page of pentacles. I feel like you just really want to be happy. Like, you know, he will provide you, you know, he will. So it's almost like, well, then what do I need to ask for? I feel like I should just give thanks and ask for protection, if anything. You know what I mean? And the eyes uh, opening of others that I care about, possibly. You know what I mean? However, but it makes me feel like your prayers are way more AP class now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as opposed to when we first started. You know, like y'all just on some deeper level shit up in this motherfucker. And I love it. I love that shit. I see a message coming through, a very good message coming for some of you. Good news, they said. Or they're saying it's the good news, right? That's what they call the gospel, the good news. So I feel like as above, so below. Yeah, the good news. If you share the good news, right, about what God has done for you, you receive good news, they said, and not just tomorrow. Am I? Yeah, it makes sense, don't it? I know. If, if you uh, get back what you put out, shit, hello. Don't seem that hard to me, but they said some people are still ashamed of him. Uh, those are people that are still believing in religion, that are ashamed to talk about him. 
him as in God, they said. Because they really don't believe everything that they've been taught. It doesn't hit like that. It don't resonate. You know what I mean? But they were taught that. So it makes them uncomfortable to have a conversation with a spiritual person who still agrees with the religion, but just on a wider scale. Uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. Some of these people get awakened tomorrow or see some type of divine something. I don't know. And nothing against nobody's religion. They're just saying, if you've been trying to connect with people, you know what I mean? And like have that talk. That's the reason why you get so frustrated. Uh, when you like people argue about religion, uh, that's why, cause neither one of you really believe in that. Somebody that really believes some shit, like they accuse you of some shit convent, you know, you ain't did that shit. Why would you sit there and argue? Like maybe you're going to defend yourself the first time, but to keep doing it like, no, no, because in this like, nah, motherfucker, I know what he done for me. G. I know what the fuck I read and what he's done in my life. I don't give a fuck about what, you know what I'm saying? None of that shit. Like you can't convince, nah, nah, you can't tell me nothing. Whoa. Yeah. That type of shit. Uh, basically, wait till I get my money right. You'll see what I was talking about. Yay, yay. Oh, shit. Maybe yay gonna be there. Shit, it is 11-11. He did change his name. Okay. Excuse me. Did you say something? Uh-uh. You can't tell me. It's almost like you're not in... You no longer need to debate about what you believe in and who you are, convent. If you still feel like you have to do that, they said you have some work to do because the only person you need to convince is yourself. Uh, people believe you when you believe you, they said. So I feel like some confidence or something is being worked on for sure. I don't know why. To, maybe it's just a boost. Y'all already doing well. So I, I mean, shit. But maybe something tells you that you're not. Strength card with the moon. You know what I mean? It's that fear. Uh... You get some messages in regards to this or some healing or some clarity or something. Crazy shit is they're telling me the healing or the clarity that you get uh, stems from your religious past. <laughs> you always can refer back to that. Exactly. That's why you need religion in order to be uh, introduced to spirituality. I don't feel like there's any other way. You have to be taught some type of basics. You know what I mean? To even get to a level of like spirituality and we're learning every day. So they're telling me whatever uh, this is, convent, uh, this message or something that you're going to get in regards to your confidence or something like that, it stems from your religious past, your upbringing, your religious upbringing, they said. Uh, you're going to get some clarity about your spirituality from your religious upbringing. Hey Amen. You should. Shit. You should. That shit should kind of go together a little bit. You might pull the lettuce out the sandwich and throw that shit out the window, but the rest of that shit should be good. You know what I'm saying? Some shit, yeah, man, I said no pickle, right? Throw the motherfuckers out the window too, right? Till you make the burger right, G. Shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's why I say read the Bible for yourself, though. And just read, period. You know what I'm saying? Just read, <laughs> period. You'll be led to read. You guys are being led to read, and I'm telling you, like look into other things. Uh, they said divinity, divine counterparts too. the exchange of spiritual connections, energy. A lot of y'all are looking into that. Some of these ascended masters walk the earth already. They say, or still walk the earth, but walk the earth already. Some of y'all are going to come into contact with these people. Like this is, a uh, like they're being used by a spiritual teacher. So it's not that they, it's like they can take over the body. So you know how like people believe people can be possessed, which is true. You done seen an evil motherfucker just, just cruel at heart. Like this motherfucker just evil, right? That person's been taken over by some entity, a dark entity. Some people can be taken over by a light entity, star card with the six of pentacles, spiritual teacher. Shit, maybe the uh, high ranking Muslim come in the form of somebody else tomorrow and talk. They keep talking about this Muslim. So I don't know if it's a, I don't know. Is there a Muslim's birthday tomorrow? Or I mean, not, I'm swear y'all. They keep talking about this person. Let me listen. Motor city. They said, where's that? They said motor city. Is that Detroit? I don't know. Shit. I don't look, I live in LA. They keep saying motor city. All right, y'all will let me know. I know you will. Shit, look, this is a really good school. I know y'all y'all be knowing shit. I do not fret at all. That's why I love it here. Uh, I don't mind being taught shit. Teach me how to Dougie shit. Don't have me out here looking stupid convent. I love it. That's why, yes, I would like to use my lifeline. This is me. 
I'll wait. Shit. Uh, I love it. Who went on the study here? So this is just the energy going around tomorrow. Time after time. Yeah, okay, Cindy. Oh, shit, you may cross. Look, you may. Both of y'all go to this fine school. Look at y'all meeting on campus and shit. Some of y'all gonna meet each, it's time. Some of y'all, it is time for you to meet each other on the quad. We're going streaking in the quad, right? It's time, G. Uh, so this is the energy going around tomorrow, okay? Uh, we don't, oh no, it is two of wands out here. But shit, y'all may just be crossing paths tomorrow. This is my crossing paths card. This is also my uh, hourglass card too, like this one. It's just no sand in this one. So divine feminine, uh, you may not even, well shit, maybe you are ready, Booski. The, the clock start for you. Divine masculine, you may be running out of time. You're supposed to have been approached this woman. So her clock don't start till yours. Uh, I mean, shit, it should have been had a, right? But you know you almost out of time. Uh, someone knows that, a divine masculine tomorrow. Y'all go to the same fucking school, the bell ring at the same motherfucking time. So how she on time to class? Ain't never late. Ain't a drop of sand coming out her shit. And then divine masculine. Last minute. But you still go to the school. You do. In the nick of time, I heard. Someone makes it in the nick of time. So shit, this may be the prayer event. It ain't, you ain't got to be, I mean, shit. I'm there right at, shit, you know, I'll be there like 11.09 to open up the convent doors, you know what I'm saying? Put the policy, you know how you gotta just prepare the, you know how we do, I ain't gonna put my practices out, but yeah, yeah, okay, to get the mood right. So shit, we gonna be on time. That's just how divine feminine is, you know? We may not make it to both classes, right? But we gonna be there. This is y'all, just still come divine masculine. Let me get off your ass, Mr. Postman. But somebody does uh, reach out, send a message. Yeah. Some of y'all get hired for a job, get a job offer. Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Or someone reaches out to you and asks, can we work it out? Someone knows that they uh, need to work something out with you. Or someone wants to collaborate or do something with you, convent. Like a project, make some shmoney. That's why you ain't asking. You're like, I know it's coming. Shit, I already know. Once I put love behind my big ass head, look at that man, and start focusing on centering myself, my chin, my chain, my Z, right? Shit been Gucci. Real shit. That's why I said you can easily tell them what God has done for you. You know what love is uh, on a divine level. Uh, and once you know that, you know what I mean? You won't look for anything less on an earthly level, uh, at least like uh, Deanna said and shit. Uh, she want her man to feel like God, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like God, like, and it's like, not like he can be God, you know what I mean? And y'all that understand or she, right. Understand what I'm saying. Y'all know, like you can never be, that's just the ultimate. It's impossible. But can you please have some traits like his baby hair or something? You know what I'm saying? Can you have his like long legs? Or, <laughs> you know, I don't know what he looked like, but it's something where you'll know convent. You know what I mean? Like that's what they mean. Like equally yoked and shit, I guess is what that would mean. You know? I feel like that's the person you run into. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I was like, yeah, girl, I get it, girl. I always be like, where is JC? I know he here. You know what I'm saying? He probably go by another name and all of that. Like, but I just feel like, <laughs> was that? I don't know for y'all that watched uh, True Blood. But it was that episode when Jason went to the, for those that watched it, when he went to that, like, religious camp. And that girl was singing on stage, Jesus took me out last night, G. Yes, that's my whole mother. Yes, bitch. <laughs> like Jesus took me out. Last. Like, who is he? Cause you know what I'm saying? You know, he has swag and shit. I'm, I don't picture him like how they say. He just seemed like real cool. G like fine. Like not to be trying to mortalize him too much. You know what I mean? Cause now he's, you know, but it's just like, it's an energy now, but it's like, damn, whoever you are, person, people, community. Because I feel like y'all have like this Christ-like energy about y'all convent. So who I'm describing is really you. You know what I mean? But you, it's like uh, everybody's not going to see that in you. And you're not going to see that in everybody. Those who are meant to see it in each other will. Like those are the divine counterparts. Like I see Christ consciousness in you. I see Christ in you. Or you know what I mean? The God in you. Those two people are meant to be together, G. They are. And that's what this is saying here. So I don't know if it's a realization tomorrow or a coming together or a crossing of paths, but one of the three, G. Somebody's been told nine times, G. So maybe when y'all family and friends hooked to look, we get family and friends day, I told you. Boop, feels like ancestors communicating with 
other ancestors, uh, other people's ancestors, uh, which is causing other people to cross paths with other people, uh, things like that. Somebody is going to figure out a way how to move forward and make their dreams come true when they've been going against how they feel. They're going to like accept the divine messages or the divine uh, intuitive messages that come to them. They were brought up this way is what this is saying. Whoever you are, you, you were brought up in like some type of like tradition, religious, something standard or something like that. That's going to benefit you, G. Don't ever let go of that shit. You may not go to church, believe in the realm, and none of them no more. And I feel you. You know what I mean? They ain't all bad, but I feel what you're saying. Like, me intuitively, like, you know what I'm saying? Tapped into you, convict. But, uh, shit, I mean, do you like a whole motherfucking movie? Like, was that, I mean, it's rare you find a movie that's good from beginning to end. Most of the times you like, that shit started off slow as fuck, right? It didn't get good to like, you know what I mean? But it's like, did you walk the fuck out? Nah, you still stayed because you wanted to know. You took out of it. It was the, the best part. Yeah, same shit. Just like tarot, not everything is going to resonate. You take out what applies to you. It's all the same shit. <laughs> Real shit is what they're telling me. Tomorrow someone awakens to this or this becomes evident or this manifests because you guys believe like this, this manifests some type of clarity or actual manifestation to happy on. It does. Look, high priestess at the bottom of the deck with the death card. Three of, oh shit. Oh shit. I don't know who, oh shit, uh, you bitches better watch out. That don't look good at all. Oh. Something, some of these bitches been trying to put on y'all, that shit in tomorrow too. This the energy tomorrow. Some, uh, witch bitch. I'm witch bitch, right? Some witch bitch, because the magician is here with the hybrid. I know. And she dead inside, so that's how I know. I followed her to school one day. It was fuck tardy at community college. That's how I know. That's how I know. Uh, she done hurt her motherfucking self, G. That shit coming back to somebody. Look at all that turmoil and shit. So, convent, something gets returned tomorrow. They damn sure said if we all, uh, put that out there, a return to sender on a massive fucking level, that shit gets shoved down they fucking throat, whoever these people are. Like, if everybody's on a return to sender energy, and they said you don't even have to say it, but you come in there trusting that, uh, your shit about to be lit. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, well, if I trust what God's gonna say, then how the fuck does whatever anybody throw at me affect me? Because God is the almighty. It can't. So that's all you're already coming in a return to sender energy. If you need to say it, yes. But they're telling me to tell you come in that energy as well. You about to see shit get shoved down these motherfuckers throats. G. Real shit. Uh, they fighting for monies and scraps and shit, eating sardines now. Look at them like, ooh, guppies and all type of shit, okay? Fighting over food. Um, also, you about to see some shit go down with your enemigos, but we are the amigos. Yeah. All right, convent. That's been the 1111 energy. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single person. Getting no fit nuts. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you, bye.